Hello, this is Jonathan Green with Atmospheric Endeavors again, and uh, I just wanted to show off a cool new feature I've discovered on the N78. Uh, as you can see here, I'm uh, in the File Manager, which is under Applications, Tools, and then File Manager. And uh, you'll note I've got three items. Your phone uh, most likely only has two, uh, but there's phone memory, the memory card, which is uh, the six gig card I took out of my tablet, and this third item here, which is actually my iDisk. So when I click on it, it's going to prompt me for a connection. I think it actually just disconnected before uh, I started the camera because it had been a while. Okay, so I'm going to connect through Wi Fi. There we go. So now this is the full listing from um, my Mac account iDisk. I've got everything that uh, I have in my private uh, folder storage here, not just the public folder, but everything. So uh, just as one uh, interesting thing here, I've got this music file here. Just something lying on the drive on my computer. Popped it into .Mac. takes a second. Okay, here we go. And then the music player opens. As if it was playing locally on my my device. Now that's pretty slick, so I'm even going to scroll forward. Very slick. So uh, let's get out of here. We can go back into our iDisk folder listing and I'll show you one other application. You could obviously use this for anything that you wanted, any sort of files, documents, PDFs, you know, whatever. Um, but I've got two different uh, media types that I've tested so far uh, and that's music and also movies. So once this uh, reconnects here I'll show you how that works. Now I've tried um, AVI, uh, moviefiles.mov, and MPEG4, and only some MPEG4 files seem to play. Uh, I haven't actually, these files have actually been up here for uh, quite a while. Um, in fact, these are, the one I'm going to play is, is pretty old. This is uh, Hannah playing, Hannah's my daughter. This was shot almost three years ago. Uh, or actually, yeah, about three years ago, uh, when we first moved into our house, and I actually shot this video with the Nokia N90, um, and then uploaded it to .Mac. But you'll see here, I'm going to open it, and then Real Player will kick in, and we'll be able to actually watch this movie streaming to my phone from my iDisk. Pretty cool. Okay, real players can play like this. So again, this is streaming. This is going over Wi-Fi, out from the .Mac account, straight to my phone. Pretty awesome. I think it's pretty awesome. Uh, so that's it. Let me just show you quickly um, where you would configure this. Okay, so when we go into uh, settings, let me just back up here because uh, I use the shortcut. So under settings, you've got general phone connection, and uh, at the bottom here is one for remote drives. Now you can see my iDisk is connected. Uh, you could actually send these settings to somebody. So if I wanted to, I could. Uh, send a message, and I believe the username and password, which I'm not going to do on camera, uh, would get sent out. Uh, or, let's see, I think I actually have to disconnect. There we go. So now you can see uh, 
here are our settings. I named it iDisk. The, um, the, the URL is just an HTTP uh, iDisk.Mac.com and then my username. I've asked it to ask every time. Username and password and that's it. Uh, this should work uh, with any web dev uh, kind of account that you have which is what iDisk is. Uh, so fast mail, email customers, you get web dev as part of your account and uh, I'm not sure where else you might have web dev but uh, this is a very easy way to set up remote sharing uh, straight to your phone. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, this is Jonathan Green with Atmospheric Endeavors. I'll talk to you next time.